want to show you how to use the array modifier. Um, it's a tool which takes a lot of the work out of repetitive objects. And it's how to, how to make this kind of very simple little, uh, <coughs> let's go with Greek pavilion. <laughs> Fishing reel, bobbin, it's bobbins. So this is what we're going to have a look at. Um, let's fire up a new instance of uh, Blender. Right here we go. Um, right, default cube in the middle of the uh, the scene. Uh, I think we're gonna yeah, we'll, we'll keep that in and just use that for a starting point. Uh, the first thing we need to do is add in an empty. So go into the bottom, add empty plane axis. Now that's like um. Where um, where the cube's actual um, topology and stuff, and, and empty is just like a marker point, um, and it's useful for this kind of operation. So I select the cube in object mode, then go to add modifier, add array modifier, and you see we've got two copies of our cube now. And you can increase and decrease the number of those using the the count. Uh, but what we want to do is kind of spin them around a center point, um, kind of like a clock face. In fact, we'll do that. Let, let's have twelve, like one for every hour. But at the moment, they're all going in a straight line from our center point. Um, 3D cursor, or the origin of the cube, which is slap bang in the middle. Now we're going to want a constant offset, so they go all the way around the center point. Um, now earlier on we put in our empty. Now we want to tell it to use the empty as our offset. Uh, so I'm selecting that there nothing has changed is because this is currently still on the center point um, now if we, yeah, I think if we stick it into edit mode and drag it up some because uh, it's in edit mode our um, origin point has remained in the center of the grid which is where we want it now I'm going to right click on my empty which you can see is just shown as a uh, little little cross and I am a little cross right uh, let's come back so we've got everything in shot now I want to rotate this um, around this axis as you see it's following the, uh, the shape now because we're trying to make a bit like a clock face 360 degrees all the around, all the way around. Um, divided by 12 gives us 30 degrees. So if I type in 30 degrees here, hey presto, clock face. Um, there's some maths for you, <laughs> but it, 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 you can see as we reduce the number of degrees of rotation, and we're just spinning the empty. You can see, you can see it turning around in the middle there. Um, as we go up or down, but 30 is our number to get 12 spaced evenly. Uh, now, when you pop this back into edit mode, there you go, we'll select our cube and pop it into edit mode. You can see we've only actually got one um, kind of main cube, the rest are variations on it. So, if we uh, Scale that on the z-axis. Scale z. Scale z. You get the idea. Now that's a really useful way for doing repetitive jobs. Um, they use them for doing staircases, spiral staircases, fences, fence posts. Uh, now this is using the constant offset. 
the other option is the relative offset, which uses a relative position. Uh, a lot of the time, you, you stick that one by on, on by mistake, and you think, "What's happened to that?" Because it's got some kind of weird, weird effects, and it's quite well. It's, it's interesting, and you can see what you, you can see how that works yourself. Um, as you can see, back in constant offset, it's a lot more controllable. Um, what else can we do? We can probably subdivide these up a bit. Subdivide it up and add, add some smooth on there. And let's add a uh, subdivision surface on there as well. Um, oops. Let's pop that up to two. Things of much interest. <laughs> around with the shapes here. You can see you can get some quite interesting structures built quite quickly. So that's using the array modifier and an empty um, using a constant offset to uh, spin ourselves 12 shapes around the center point.